Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com. Uh, but recently my wireless headset, my Xbox 360 wireless headset, uh, seems to have gone out. It doesn't want to charge, doesn't want to do anything. So I figure instead of going spending about another 50 or 60, I'm not sure what they are now, for one, I just buy a battery on eBay for $8, open it up, and replace the battery, see if that'll help. But the problem I ran into was a video on how to take this thing apart. Uh, there's a couple of videos, but to be honest, they were all crappy. So I just kind of wanted to show everyone um, how to open this up and the tools that you'll need, the actual tools, instead of just saying, oh, just use this and it'll work, which a lot of videos said. What you will need are two tools. Okay, so you'll need a tri-wing screwdriver. That's one. And then you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Double zero is what it's called. So those are the tools that you'll need. Uh, as far as taking it apart, it's really simple. See these two rubber pieces? They just pop right off. One there. The other one right here. Next thing you'll need is you'll need to remove these screws. You see the first one is right there. And there's the other one. Those screws are removed with the tri-wing screwdriver. So you'll go ahead and unscrew those. Alright, so once you unscrew those, you'll be able to pull them off, uh, just like that, piece comes off. Uh, this one doesn't look like I completely unscrewed. Unscrewed. Alright, and then the next thing you'll do is you're going to want to pop this back piece off, this earphone cover, or ear cover, that just pops right off real easy. And then this back piece, this whole white back piece, pops up. So you want to get either a case opener or a tool, uh, which I have one, but I don't have one with me in my hand, so I'm just using my fingernails because they're kind of long anyway right now. Uh, and just pop this up. Be careful. You want to use force, but not too much force to where you break it. But as you can see, it'll separate. And be careful that you don't pull too much because there's wires. This is the headset right there. So this you can let hang down, just be careful. The battery is adhered with a little bit of glue. You can easily just pry on that and you'll hear it come up and be careful again not to damage any of these cords because they both kind of hang out of the way. So you can see that's the inside of it. This is where it was stuck to. This is the actual mic piece, speaker, the battery. Okay, now the next part you'll need is, you can see them right here, right around here and here, there's two screws. Those are the two Phillips screws. So you're going to go in there with your Phillips screwdriver and you're going to unscrew those. Alright, so you have all the screws out. Now you can carefully remove this uh, front plastic piece right here, the gray part. Now you want to be careful when you do that because it's attached right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a ribbon cable right there, right in there, so you want to be careful. that whole piece will come off just like that so this whole gray, gray piece comes off be careful because it's soldered right there there's a ribbon cable right there you have your speaker right here and then your battery of course right there uh, here's where the battery connects uh, now you can see here that there's some tabs right there, I don't maybe you could see, let me try to zoom in right there there's some tabs here and here that are holding on the circuit board in place you can pull those out and you can take the circuit board out uh, so that way you can desolder the battery now what I'm actually going to do because it's a lot easier to me is I'm just going to go ahead and snip these two cables the yellow one and the blue one 
snip them just a little bit, expose the wire, and then with the new battery just solder it onto there. And then that should give me uh, more than enough uh, connection to power it up. So hopefully the battery is defective in mine. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. But uh, like I said, this is just a quick video to show you how to take it apart uh, because the other videos I found weren't very great.